Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman Freelancer. And we pick up where we left off in the last episode, and I believe we are now on our third tier of campaign. So let's go over to the operations wall and see where we're off to next. And I think, yes, Marrakesh could be a tricky one, so we'll get that out of the way. So we have three targets, one safe, one supplier, explosion kill remote, no combat, and kill only targets as our optional objectives. So moving on to our prestige objective, and we have pacifier with a baseball bat, collateral kill firearms, and time to get disguises. None of which appeal to me at present we don't really have all of the weaponry we require so we're gonna go with the remote explosion kill as we do have a remote explosive at present uh, so what else might we possibly need I don't think there's anything else so let's get to Marrakesh have a good trip Fortism. Welcome to Marrakesh. Intel tells us that there are syndicate members in the area. I trust that you can find them and eliminate them. Don't disappoint, 47. Good luck. So we have arrived in Marrakesh in what is quite possibly the worst starting location. The door ahead of us is locked. Um, uh, there is a crate somewhere around here I can hear it but the only way out of here is through the building full of armed guards so luckily I remember this map quite well and I know that we can get not only a guards outfit but an officers outfit from the next room here now, as soon as the guards are in the right positions we can throw the toy tank that was in the corner of the room knock out the officer, pounce on the soldier at the window, grab the officer's outfit and his gun for good measure, and we can now casually walk out of the building. We only have to worry about one or two enforcers now instead of an entire army. So our first target is over by the uh, headmaster's apartments shop, uh, carpet shop I believe it is. And it looks like our target is the headmaster's son, or the lady he's talking to, but I'm going to say it's the son, just from the silhouette it seemed more like the male. So we're going to take care of our remote kill first of all, so we're just going to place little ducky here in the corner of the room and vacate the area. Uh, these two are involved in a conversation, but our proximity has triggered that, and eventually they will go back to their daily routines. So off goes the young lady, and the young gentleman will now make his way inside. He should spot little ducky there, he does, and he is now going to pick him up and put him in his pocket very much like our target is for us right now. We can detonate that explosive at any point. And uh, that point is not right now. Right now, because we have the guard's outfit, or the officer's outfit, we're gonna make a beeline for the consulate tunnel. And down there, in the consulate car park, I believe, we will find the safe. Now luckily for me, uh, if I can't find all three of the clues, which does happen quite often, uh, they are sometimes spread out in places you wouldn't really expect to find them. We have that crowbar as well. Uh, so down here, usually we can find some propane or explosives. I believe you can find both down here somewhere. So I fully expect all of that to have been removed, but I am very, very confident of at least 
one remote explosive down in the central room in the actual tunnel. So if all else fails, we do have a plan C. So there is the safe, so we've just got to use instinct very heavily and run around the whole area and just inspect every nook and cranny while we look for our free clues. Now there could be files of paperwork or they could be tablets or they could be laptops. Here it looks like we have clue number one. Yes we do, a tablet. So it's uh, over in the office. There's normally a safe on the wall. The safe isn't there, but now there is a laptop on the counter. So I'm assuming this is clue number two. So one more to collect, and then we can let Pokemon go. But uh, finding that third one is proving somewhat elusive. Ah, propane. Very useful to know. So we have two propane cylinders in the storeroom, so I'll remember that. But, um, we're looking for a clue. Files of paperwork, a tablet or a laptop. Now the tablets are usually the hardest to spot because they can be hidden away on shelves and things and you can run past using instinct and never see them because they're so nicely tucked away somewhere that unless you're looking at the right at them from the right angle you won't see them although i do see a third propane cylinder so we're doing quite well for accidental kills if we need to in fact we're going to take one of those propane cylinders and we're going to give up on the third clue i have no idea where it is and we're just going to place the propane cylinder somewhere nice and visible next to the safe about here should do it doesn't look like we'll injure anyone too badly with that i'm gonna run away a nice safe distance and pull out our silence pistol and take two shots at the propane cylinder now unfortunately i've got a great big hummy thing in the way I think we'll be able to see it from here just as a guard comes over and I have forgotten at this point that I'm to kill only targets and took my shot anyway after making a comment to myself about that gentleman really shouldn't be standing there right now. So we can run a lap of the car park while everybody is in their panic state. And we're going to circle all the way around back to the safe and as soon as everybody goes back to their usual routine all of those white dots above their head will disappear and we can now casually walk over to the safe and collect up our coinage so just waiting for that last enforcer there once he gets that body wrapped he should go back to normal and when he does, we can approach the safe. There we go. So that's the safe taken care of. We're just going to grab them mercers there. Nice bit of coinage for us. Now uh, the exploding uh, safe has given me an idea of how to get into the consulate without a key card. It does mean we're going to have to do a bit more in the way of exercise though. So we're going to go into the storeroom, grab a, another propane cylinder and we're going to place that by the consulate entrance doors here. As you can see, keycard only entry. So we're going to find a new way in. So let's see, if I go over here, everyone will see me and I want to be going this way anyway so yeah this looks like I've got a bit more cover so we're just going to pull out our silence pistol and once again take two shots at the propane cylinder and take a second lap of the car park luckily enough when we come back around this time as no one was hurt or injured everybody will have already started going back to their usual routines 
and that is on both sides of the door I believe as you can see there are guards everywhere but they are less panicky so we can just casually walk past all of them and into the consulate uh, in here we have the supplier we also have one of our targets uh, I know they're around here somewhere where are you you're not down in the basement area you're not up there is that you ah there they are now that looks like so, the expo room or the yeah, office yeah, next sure, of course. so we don't even have to go upstairs although I'm having an idea that maybe going upstairs will be a good option after all but first things first let's go and collect up the crate and see what the supplier has for us today hey there need anything I might have it if you insist you might have it my dear but I might ne not necessarily want it although it's quite a nice selection we have here uh, I'm gonna take the ice pick I think definitely gonna have the seeker the ice pick uh, we may as well take the taser and the poison as well Come back pleasure doing business more. with you dear so our target is actually in this room they're just behind me so I'm thinking this room also is open plan and upstairs Not has sir. a balcony and that guard just scared the life out of me then I thought he was gonna turn enforcer so we're gonna make our way up the stairs where we are now trespassing just gonna render this guard unconscious usually another guard will walk past at the end of the corridor and not notice anything so the plan is I am going to uh, eliminate my target from up here in the balcony area where there is actually somewhere to hide in case things go horribly wrong I'm also going to distract in the guard from outside the door here just because he is going to be in the way so the hammer we collected earlier which will now serve a purpose apart from just taking up weight and space in my pockets go to sleep well done you stay there I'll have your gun just in case although I think we already have a few so do we shoot our target or do we blow our target up I'm thinking shooting the target is probably the better option it would be nice and quiet quick clean and uh, I say clean I'm not the greatest of shots it may get a little bit messy so we're just gonna wait here for our target to present themselves they will eventually move over to the other side of the room just got to remember to be aware of the patrolling guard who comes in here so I think we're all lined up that will do about nicely and down you go you gotta be syndicate member eliminated well done 47 so target one has been dealt with summarily uh, i'm just going to make my way directly to target two and it just so happens that as i arrive she headed over to the carpet area here where there's an exit and well she's done. nice and secluded so we're going to quickly plant two in her back and all that we have left to do now is to trigger our remote rubber ducky and kill our final target excellent work 47 you've spread fear within the syndicate get back to the safe house i'll be in touch I, uh, so after what here. felt like an eternity fun, right? trying to get out of the school and then out of the consulate turns out our kills were pretty quick and easy uh, so we can just head straight through the exit and back home to the ICA safe house so we did manage to fail a couple of our challenges there uh, unfortunately I did end up getting into a little bit of combat somehow uh, someone basically pulled a gun on me that counts I think so that's 
tier three level two dealt with, and uh, soon be on the leader. When you're ready to continue, I'll be waiting. So, as per tradition, when we get back to the safe house, we're just gonna drop everything we own except our silence pistol onto the walls. So we've done quite well there. We've managed to get a few little items, including the ice pick. Uh, pills I'm not too bothered about, but the ice pick could come in handy. Just gonna grab our reward there. Still not too bothered as to what it is at the moment. Uh, we're, we're still building up our tools. So we're gonna leave the story there for now and we will take on our last member before the leader in the next episode. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.